All right, guys. Welcome back. Reacting to my Spotify Wrapped. Uh, so, I did pre-record this. Just gonna hop into it real quick. Uh, John first. I explored 36 different genres. Uh, here's what I plus two with most. Pop, rap, rock, modern rock, and neo-mellow. Uh, I've been getting into some of these genres a little bit more. Kept it interesting. Uh, happy chill nostalgia. Uh, started off with, then moved to feel good, upbeat love, and uh, finish off the day with poetic sad boy heartbreak. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I got seventeen thousand eleven minutes this year. 68% more than other listeners. So, yeah, I already knew this was gonna be my number one. Love somebody, Maroon 5. Uh, yeah, uh, played 2,183 songs this year. Nice. Top 5, Maroon 5, Love somebody, some Ed Sheeran, and Justin Bieber as well. Dang. Uh, some of my uh, favorite artists that I like listening to. Uh, playlists for the songs. And I know I'm moving a little quick. 829 artists I listened to this year. And uh, Ed Sheeran was my number one artist. Spent 986 minutes uh, with them. And Kiss Me was my... Uh, most played song of his. Alright, so Top Hearts, Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, Post Malone, Maroon 5, and of course Kanye West. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Alright. So, little horoscope. Uh, right here, Fang Clover. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess that kind of suits me in a way. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that is the end of this whole uh, thing. But I will be leaving some comments at uh, then after this. Yeah. Uh, just some brief little comments about my uh, Spotify rats this year. Uh, I knew for my top song it was going to be Love Somebody by Maroon 5. As you know, I tried to keep this as little tradition for its past couple of years. Uh, so... I, I mean, I've been trying to keep this song to be my number one since I, you know, started, uh, you know, doing the soul Spotify rap gang more into it. Uh, I figure, heck, might as well do the same song each year if I am, of course, up for it. So, uh, yeah, that personally doesn't, uh, you know bother me, affects me, surprise me, because I already knew that was going to be my number one this year. And for uh, listening this year, I hit 17,000, 11 minutes. I think this was one of my higher years since I've been paying more attention to it. And yeah, uh, I uh, do enjoy listening to some of the songs I like. And, uh, yeah, there, there's that. My top five first being Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, Post Malone, Maroon 5, and Kanye West. Uh, I mean, this kind of suits me in a way, as, uh, they, they are five of my, uh, favorite artists. Uh, and I know there are songs of... Of theirs that I personally do enjoy, and uh, 
uh, songs of theirs that I constantly play over and over again, uh, just to listen to, just to vibe out to as well. And I know Ed Sheeran, he's been kind of popular this year with some songs he's been featured on and some songs he's been remixing from his uh, album Equals that he released last year. Then, uh, the weekend, he did release an album this year, Dawn FM, and I've been playing a couple of songs, uh, on repeat off, uh, that album for sure, uh, and Post Malone, I checked his new album out, uh, 12 Carat Toothache, not, not his best album, but... Uh, there are a few tracks on there I personally do enjoy, and I've listened to uh, a lot of his stuff from, you know, his Beer Bongs and Bentley's era, as well as Hollywood's Bling era, some great tracks on both those albums. Uh, I've been listening to a lot this year. Then, yeah, uh, Room 5, uh, a couple of their albums celebrated uh, an anniversary this year, but I've been enjoying some of their older stuff, uh, especially from Overexposed, uh, their last great album, in my opinion. Mm. Nonetheless, Kanye West, uh, this year, his album Graduation turned 15 years old, one of my favorite albums of his, but I've kind of... Sp Constantly been playing songs off of Graduation, as well as a couple of his other albums as well. And I, I feel he's an enjoyable artist, to say nonetheless. Then, uh, for the little horoscope, which is new this year, uh, I got the fan clubber. Uh, I feel that kind of describes me in a way. Uh, but yeah, the... Uh, letters for it are F and V C, which are, uh, familiar LT, newness, variety, and, uh, commonality. Uh, description just says, you're the type of fan that are stream of. When you love an artist, you cycle through entire albums, playing their hits and every song in between, which uh, I feel describes me. Because there are artists I like, and uh, I do sit there, listen to their uh, albums, beginnings, and depending on, you know, the artists, say, nonetheless. But yeah, there are artists I personally do enjoy, and will sit there, listen to uh, albums uh, on repeat, as well as certain songs that I do enjoy and will listen to over and over again. So there's that. so that's all I want to uh, hit on. Didn't want to try and keep this video too long. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and feel free to share. Of, uh, Share anything you found interesting about yours or any of your top songs and ours uh, in the comments as well. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I will see you all next time.